Hi, in this video, let's take a look at the inventor Samuel F. B. Morse and his innovative invention, the telegraph. Morse was born on April 27, 1791 in Charleston, Massachusetts. After attending Phillips Academy in Andover, he went on to Yale College for Education on Religious Philosophy, Mathematics, and science of horses too, as well as attending lectures on electricity. At the time, he supported himself by painting. Now, I presume you all know that Morse contributed in the invention of the telegraph, but why did he think of doing so? It all started off with a sad story. One day, when he was a full-grown adult, he had received a letter from his father that his wife had a serious illness. When he went to see her, he had been too late. Yet, this gave him a great idea, an idea that would soon lead to an innovation in communication, an idea triggered by the great despair and frustration he had felt from his wife's death. In 1832, returning from Europe on a ship, he encountered Charles Thomas Jackson, a well-educated man on electric magnetism from Boston. After witnessing various experiments with Jackson's electromagnet, Samuel soon developed the concept of the single wire telegraph. His mission of inventing a machine that could enable quick communication had soon been accomplished. Unfortunately though, Moore soon encountered the problem that his telegraph could not send a message over a few hundred yards of wire. But then, Professor Leonard Gale, who taught chemistry at New York University, came to help out. Together with Professor Gale's help, Samuel introduced extra circuits or relays at frequent intervals and was soon able to send a message through 16 kilometers of wire. In 1838, a new member joined the team. Alfred Vail was an enthusiastic young man with excellent skills, insights and money. As Samuel's assistant, Alfred helped to develop a system of dots and dashes for sending signals, which would soon come to be known as the Morse code. He also made the register, which could remember the signals sent. Back in the day, cutting-edge technology like this was as incredible as the modern-day supercomputers. For many years, the pair struggled to find investors. Until 1842, when Morse gained the attention of Maine Congressman Francis Orman Jonathan Smith. In December of that same year, Morse strung wires between two committee rooms in the Capitol and sent messages back and forth. With Smith's support, the demonstration won Morse a 30,000 congressional appropriation. The money was used to construct an experimental 38-mile telegraph line between Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, Maryland. On the 24th of May, 1844, Morse tapped out his now famous first message, What hath God wrought? The telegraph soon proved to be a great success and rival inventors started appearing everywhere. The great invention had solved the problem of slow communication once and for all. The telegraph vastly improved communications throughout the world. It changed how people perceived time and distance, and it also was the precursor of... The telephone, the radio, and the internet. By the 1850s, telegraph wires ran through most of the US, and the telegraph even played a role for quick communications in the Civil War. In 1866, the first transatlantic telegraph cable was installed. By 1902, telegraph wires encircled the earth, and the vast majority of people had access to a telegraph office and the ability to instantly send messages around the world. And that is the end of the story of how the Telegraph revolutionized communications throughout the world. Created using Powtoon.